In this video we're going to be showing you how to remote into a computer using VNC uh, which is third party software or the remote desktop client which is supplied with most Windows computers. We uh, want to open up our internet browser first, in this case Internet Explorer. Let's wait for it to run there. Um, and then we want to go to the page to download VNC because it's not already installed in our computers. So we go to uvnc.com I can spell right. So it takes me to this website here. Go to the download tab to download the software. Uh, click on here to uh, download the most recent version. Click here. And then we, uh, in this case, we want to download the Windows version, but you can download whichever one fits your operating system best. Wait, I'm waiting for it now to run here so save the file and now it's uh, downloading the, the software to my computer and this depends on your internet connection in this case it's pretty fast so double click on it here to open up we want to accept it so that it runs there and now we want to run the program which is going to install VNC on this machine so I want English Want to click next year? Uh, yeah, sure. Accept that. Whatever. Uh, you want to select all these properties as as best as they fit you. Click on all these things, and this property here makes it so that it runs VNC as soon as I'm done installing it you don't have to do that like I said it's whatever you want to do uh, now it's installing VNC to my machine so we're just waiting here mm -hmm. do, do, do. waiting for it to install Okay, so now we put type in a password here um, because that's the password we're going to use later when we're on the other machine trying to connect to this one. We're going to supply this password so that it authenticates and you're not just anybody trying to connect. So we finish there, and as soon as I hit finish, now we're done doing the VNC section. So now we need to enable Windows Remote Desktop on the computer that we want to eventually control. So we do that by going to start, right clicking my computer, going to properties there and then going to the remote tab and then clicking on here and that allows this computer to later be remotely controlled. If you don't do that then you're not going to be able to do anything. Uh, so next we want to find out our local IP for the same machine that we just configured. Uh, we want to find out the, the IP locally so we go to command prompt and type IP config and that's gonna tell us all this information about IP addresses and things so right here we have the IP address locally of this machine and we also have the default gateway IP or the IP address of the local router so we, bo we need both of those things So next we need to configure port forwarding on the router. The way we do this is we open up an internet browser and we connect to the we connect to the router. So before I told you what the router IP was, so you want to type that in here. In this case this is mine. Type in your credentials there to log in. And now you want to click on the uh oops. Uh, you want to click on the port forwarding or application and gaming tab on your router page there and what this will do is uh, click on it there what this will do is I'm going to name it uh, RDP you can name it whatever you want and then uh, what port forwarding allows you to do is say any thing that comes into this port which in this case 3389 uh, through 3389 
I'm going to say that I want to send it to this uh, IP. So 3389 is used by the remote desktop connection. So I'm going to say that anything that comes into 3389 is going to be sent to to 102, to 88.88.88.102, which is the IP address that I want to connect to remotely later. So we do the same thing for v VNC, which uses this port number instead, and we send it to the same IP of the machine that we eventually want to connect to, and that's the local IP of that other machine. So we're done that. We configured that now we're done that part so see here so now we want to find the outside IP and this is the IP address that your router has to the to the world to the to the internet it's your outside IP so the way we can find that out is we again open up an internet browser and we there's tons of websites out there that will give you your outside IP so you could just type in what's my IP here on uh, on Google and this outside IP is the IP that 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 people see when your router is sending stuff out so you can click on this website here and there's your IP it just displays it this is a fake one that that's there just so nobody can actually connect to my machine so now how do we connect via RDP well we open up RDP on a Windows machine which you can find it uh, in this case it's already open for us we type in that outside IP that we got earlier which is displayed below uh, and then we just hit connect and now once we we connect to it we can remotely connect that to that computer we can control it remotely which is pretty pretty cool so there it is. I'm not going to go any further, but you can log in there and do whatever you want. So if you want to use VNC, instead of using the supplied uh, remote desktop, you look for VNC here. Uh, open it up there. And VNC has to be installed on the machine that you want to use to connect to the other machine. So it has to VNC has to be installed on both machines. So we type in that same... Uh, IP address, the, our outside IP address that will connect to the router and then the router will forward that request to the local machine that we want it to connect to and that's it then we can type in the password here and then we can connect to it via VNC and remotely control it